for me, having some awareness that may be unique to my position about the potential adaptations of this into another medium, first, you know, into a movie, and then ultimately into this incredible, remarkable series. The thing that I wanted more than anything was for whoever was going to play Joel to just show me something new about the role. Was there something that I overlooked? Was there something that I missed? Was there something that I didn't know? And the second that I found out that they cast Pedro, I was like, oh, well, we're, we're bulletproof now. <laughs> um, because obviously his, his pedigree as an actor is, is incontrovertible. But it's also the fact that he has embraced this character with such loving arms. But the beauty of this, you know, playing this as a game, one of the things that made this such a compelling and resonant story is, is the fact that the gameplay and the story uh, were so intertwined and they, they spoke to each other as opposed to now you shoot, now you watch, now you shoot, now you watch. Um, but we're limited because we are telling the story of Joel from Joel's perspective or we're telling the story of Ellie from Ellie's perspective. And what the show allows us to do is be able to break away from those characters and spend time with a lot of the other characters that we glossed over in the game, like James. Um, and so being able to spend time with those other characters really just enriches the world and it adds layers. So I've, I've told people this is not a either or, it's either play the game or watch the show. It's a yes and. And I'm excited for once people finish the series um, to either go back through and play the game again or go back and play the game for the first time ever and participate in that conversation. I think that what happens is the same amount of um, action is imbued in each episode just in different ways. The, the show doesn't lose any of its dynamism because there's not a gameplay mechanic that's happening. It's those moments that happen in gameplay are now we can narrativize in a different way. We can display in a different way. Perfect example is in episode two with, with Tess's demise. Like we can change that and the presentation of that without losing any of the integrity or the emotional impact that, that that scene or that episode had. And in the same ways, now we can explore other ways to dramatize or actionalize certain things. So to me, the same amount of action, the same amount of drama is happening. It's just being displayed in two different ways. I would be happy if it, I had just been a clicker. It turns out I make a terrible clicker, by the way. Um, and those the, <laughs> those guys that did it in the show uh, absolutely crushed it. So when um, Neil and Craig came to me, I said, "We we have a role for you." Um, and Neil was like, "It's it's James." And I went, "Oh, dude, who's James?" <laughs> I had to be like, "Oh, right, buddy boy, the guy with the hat." Um, I was like, well, that's interesting. And, you know, there was a lot of rumor and speculation that I was going to be playing David. I was like, that would have just been too kitschy. That would have been too on the nose. Um, and really, the thing that I love that's a departure from what Nolan did in the game by playing David. David is a very charismatic, very manipulative uh, character. And in the game, it becomes necessary for Ellie and David to partner up in a way because they fight together. Um, here, they don't have to do that. So we get to explore what that character looks like absent of that uh, prerequisite. And so we can kind of flesh that out a little bit into other characters, including James. And so James, to me, every relationship, every character in this story somehow serves as a reflection, Ellie and or Joel. And James does that very much because James is someone who's pragmatic. He's someone that I believe was once a good guy. This is someone that went fishing. He was probably in law enforcement or he was somehow trained in, in, in a capacity to be able to protect people. And now those skills are being exploited and used against his better judgment and against his better self. And so when Ellie shows up, the threat is that she is someone who's capable of usurping that position that he wants to have with David, but he will never have because David is looking for an equal. David sees that and Ellie, not only because she's um, capable and she's she's brilliant and resourceful, but she's also, as he says, she has a violent heart. And that's something that James lacks. Now she would have turned by now. This isn't real. That looks pretty fucking real to me. Uh, 
everybody was very kind. They're like, this today's the day. And I was like, you know, I'm not actually dying. Like th this is just a, um, but the beauty of like doing a game is that can happen uh, over lunch. You know, like we, we can get that shot set up and it's like, okay, someone's going to have a, you know, a, a styrofoam piece of whatever and they're going to blank and you act it out and it's done. Um, for the purposes of camera, that became many, 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 many hours in the chair, um, in prosthetics with our incredible uh, visual effects team and uh, or special effects team, sorry, um, fitting me for a neck that had an apparatus in here that could receive the cleaver that was going to be swung by Bella. Very deftly, I might add. She, The amount of, of skill that it took to be able to land this was something that we did multiple times. And every time Bella just like nailed it. She hit her marks better than I did. Um, but for me, it was this this um, opportunity to where like I love doing a death scene. I love you know what what does that look like? And normally it's you know I got to do it on I just got to scream you know. And I certainly have done my fair share of doing that. Uh, with this as a death scene, um, it was more of a dance. There were more parts to it, and I'm really really proud of it. I got mad at Craig because he cut it. But no, not, not he cut it down. I was like, oh, there's so much more. He's like, it's not a story about James's death. I was like, I know, but it was awesome. <laughs> so I just saved that for my reel, and I'll be putting that up on my TikTok, I'm sure. About the girl. We bring her back with us. I don't mean to question your sense of mercy, David. We can let her go. I definitely think that there is a play that's happening between David and James this entire time, as far as in in very uh, it, it kind of calls back to the relationship that Jeffrey Pierce's character uh, Perry has with Kathleen where there is a leader who has a right hand person who is in some ways either sycophantically or sympathetically helping guide their decisions and James recognizes the evil that is inherent inside of David but it's better to be on the right hand side of the devil than on the wrong side um, and so he's very careful about playing his position but he's trying to also achieve his goal which is don't let this girl in and he uses pragmatism as as his uh, method she's just another mouth to feed no get out of me no 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 because of the commitment to excellence um, that was happening from both neil and craig and also uh, enough can't be said about our entire crew our DPs and our directors and our grips and our gaffers and our sound and our weapons handlers, all of these people were such fans of this story and they committed their skill and their care to carefully reconstructing and retelling the story. But I had no idea that the rest of the world who hadn't picked up a controller and played this game, um, as well as those who had, would receive it so warmly. Craig kept saying, if we get them to episode three, we own them. And to see the incredible numbers that have happened and not only just the viewership and, and everything but also the response to how this has become the conversation and whenever you can create a cultural event that to me is one of the hallmarks of truly accomplishing something so it's not just the the critical acclaim and the commercial success but it's also the conversations and the art that this thing has created this the, the every week going through my my feed and seeing all the fan art has been incredible it makes me excited to see where this story can go in multiple seasons, if possible, who knows? But I think that if this story has shown us anything over the last several years, is that there are more characters and more of this world to explore.